Massey returned to the Doubletree Hotel after the concert. He was a registered guest at the hotel. He was in the lobby when he returned a phone call from his mother. That's when the trouble started. Escort you off the property. He was approached by a security here? guard. Massey recorded much of the incident okay, on his cell here. phone. He posted hotel. that video to social media. I didn't do anything to you. I'm sitting over here taking a phone call and you interrupted my phone Earl. He says he held up his key card to show the security guard that he was a guest there, but did not give his room number. He continued with the phone call. The guard talked with the hotel. manager and police were called. The end result, Massey was evicted from the hotel. The hotel originally called it a misunderstanding before taking more action. They first placed the employees on leave while they investigated. Today, this tweet came from the Doubletree, saying they had terminated the men involved in the mistreatment of Mr. Massey. They apologized and said they will work with diversity experts to see that this will never happen again. We talked with Massey's attorney, Gregory Kafori. He can't believe that it took so long to fire the employees and says Massey had as much right to be in the lobby as the security guard did. Why did that guy think that he had uh, the prerogative to just start questioning my guy, to disbelieve him, mm -hmm. to badger him, to throw him out, to call the police? Something about the culture of the place, something about the policies of the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll find out. Kafori says they picked on the wrong guy and that things won't end with the employees being fired. We're going to file a lawsuit against them. We're going to ask to see complaints. We're going to ask to see their policies. We're going to ask to see documents of their internal discussions, their emails. We're going to turn the place upside down. And uh, then we'll report back to you. That was Art Edwards reporting. Kofori alleges this probably has happened at Hilton-owned hotels before. He's looking to be able to prove that.